What do you believe? Faith, that transcendent force that's beyond reason, not absence of reason. I remember more than once, but a specific recollection. A few months ago, speaking to an individual I know in New York, very successful man on many different levels. And we came around talking about faith and I asked him, what do you believe? So he said, you know, I'm a rational person. There are many, not many things I believe. I said, but something that real conviction. He says, well, I believe in my business. I believe in my workers. I believe in the United States structure of capitalism, though it has its flaws. He gave me a few of his beliefs, so to speak. I believe in my family and certain values. Now, it wasn't just rational. Yes, they're not irrational, but there was a deeper conviction involved than just rational decisions we make. I just had a conversation with him recently after this pandemic has broken. And I said, Do you remember our conversation about um, belief? He says, absolutely, I remember it vividly. I said, what would you answer now? He says, <laughs> it's a very different answer. The structures, the institutions, the rituals, the routines, you name it, the conventions. He's a wordsmith, so he had many different words that we were so relying on, so dependent on, and believed in them. Many of them, if not all of them, are frankly gone. Temporarily, perhaps, maybe some of them permanently, but definitely gone. I believed, he said, that I had control over my destiny, that I had control over my calendar, over my schedule. No. So I said, so what do you believe in now? He says, you have to believe there's something more going on. It's a mystery. He captured the essence, the magic, the power of faith, in the best possible way. I don't know if we would all appreciate it a few months ago. Maybe some would. But now it's far easier because we see when something is taken away or something is disrupted that you thought was so reliable. It makes you think, what do you believe? This is what we should be thinking about these days. And this is exercising a super conscious faculty within you. The faculty of Chaya, of transcendence. Something that is not obvious because reason Cognitive, emotional actions you can tangibly touch, you tangibly relate to. This is not directly relatable, and yet faith touches that part of us that's inaccessible, but yet is the foundation of so much of who we are.